What if I told you you can rank number one in GPT search, Google AI search, and even perplexity without having to pay a single cent on things like Ahrefs and SEMrush? Because let's be honest, good SEO relies on good data. But the thing is that SEO is changing so quick that a lot of these tools aren't really catching up with the changes of AI. And the tools that have integrated some sort of AI technology into them to do SEO are charging astronomical prices. I mean, for the starter subscription, SEMrush is charging $100. $165 and Ahrefs $129 American per month, which for a small business, that is way too much. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can build free custom GPTs with access to real-time SEO data that are really going to give you an advantage with your SEO strategy, allowing you to do it a lot quicker, a lot more effectively, and a lot more accurately. And best of all, it's going to be extremely cost-effective. I'm talking fractions of the price that you pay for Ahrefs and SEMrush. Those three GPTs are going to be a keyword growth analyzer GPT that is going to give you some recommended keywords that you might be able to rank for that aren't necessarily too competitive, but are going to bring you the right traffic. Number two is going to be an on-site SEO fixer GPT where you give it your website's URL and it'll crawl your website and understand all the technical SEO components that need to be fixed and provide you with really actionable and easy to follow plans so you can rank higher. And the third one is a competitor analysis GPT that's going to provide you all the keywords which your competitor is ranking for that you can then analyze further and understand which ones you should try and compete against. So let's get to the build. But first, let's understand why we're building it the way we are. And that is basically because natively, ChatGPT doesn't have access to SEO data. And when I mean SEO data, I mean things like keyword difficulty. What's the estimated search volume of a keyword? What is the cost per click if it was run at? Or what keyword you're ranking for or your competitors ranking for that matter? Now, GPT will give you some great ideas, but it doesn't have that data behind it. So what we're going to do in this build is build a custom GPT and connect it to live SEO data with an API and a little bit of a JSON code provided by Data for SEO. And we use that software or that platform, Data for SEO, because it's extremely cost effective. I'm talking fractions of a cent every time we make a call. It's a pay as you go software, meaning that if you don't use it, you don't pay for it. And finally, when you sign up with the link below, you're gonna get $5 free credit, which goes a long way when you're building these tools. So let's get all the things together that we need to build our first GPT, which is the Keyword Growth Analyzer. What you wanna do is create an account for data for SEO so you can guess your API key. We're going to log in, and when you log in, you're gonna see this interface here. You want to go to API access. You won't have a thousand dollars balance. You should have five dollars there using the link below. You're going to go to API access right here and we want two items. We want the API login, which is the email that you use to create an account for data for SEO and the API password. If you don't see it here, you're going to get it sent by email. You'll get an email from data for SEO saying, hey, here is your password. Now with those two items, you need to encode these. And it's just a base 64 encoding tool, it's very easy. And you need to type your login and the password in this exact method. So for example, the email that I have is that, we need to place in this symbol there, and then you paste in the password that you got emailed to you by data for SEO. So let's say my would look something like that. Yours will look similar, obviously very different numbers. And you're going to click encode to base 64. And you need to save this code that gives you, which is your encrypted code, somewhere safe. That is version one done. Now, in the links provided in the description below, you're gonna see this GitHub repo. And don't worry, this is getting a little bit complicated. We're not doing encoding. We are just copying and pasting. So for this, it just shows us all of the API calls that we can connect a custom GPT to. For example, this is a backlinks API. So this is going to access data for SEO backlinks tool for SEO research, for example. And the one for keyword, obviously we're going to use the keyword data analyzer tool. So now we can start building our custom GPT. I'm gonna to go to chat GPT. I'm gonna to go to GPTs here and you're going to create one. To create a custom GPT, you need to be on one of the paid plans with OpenAI, by the way. So we're gonna name this here, Keyword Growth 
analyzer. You can set the description as it is, and we're gonna add the instructions later on. That's not so important, but for now, we want to go down to the capabilities and we want to make sure that we've got the code interpreter and uh, data analysis on. And then what we want is to click the create a new action button. This is what's gonna allow us to connect everything together. In this schema here, I want to go to this GitHub repo, which I've listed below. I wanna make sure that I've got the data for SEO keywords data selected. And I want to copy all of this code. You can copy raw file right there. So you can see that it's been copied and we're just copying this JSON script. I wanna go back to the custom GPT that I'm building. And as soon as I paste it in here, have a look below. We're gonna have all these actions that we can call all of a sudden, yeah? So that GPT can call, for example, Google Ads search volume, the trends, the categories, and a bunch of other things here. I wanna add some sort of privacy policy data. And in the authentication section, we need to move this to API key. And in the hidden API key is where we add our encrypted code that we just made there. I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT. I've got mine copied here already. Perfect. And I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm gonna save. And hopefully, we should be okay to test this out. You're gonna have a little loading icon here and when that stops loading, we can test it out. So for example, we're gonna say, what is the search volume for local SEO in the USA? And what needs to happen for you to ensure that this custom GPT is actually calling data for SEO is this. It's gonna ask you to confirm the call. It's a security measure, but you can see now that it's actually received the response. It's talking to the data for SEO API, and now it's given me incredible data. So it's saying the local SEO has an average of a monthly search volume of 22,200 in the United States. Here's some additional details. Perfect. So let's get some related keywords, come up with related keywords. It's talking to the connector once again. I'm going to confirm. And now it's given me some related keywords to this. Their search volume, or their monthly estimated search volume, the cost per click for that keyword, should you want to run Google Ads for that, and the competition. Although I don't really agree with the competition there, but that's perhaps a video for another turn. And now it's even given me more suggestions. How would you like this group by commercial intent? And you can really start experimenting back and forth with ChatGPT, with this custom GPT, I should say, rather that has access to real-time SEO data. So well done. The first one is done here. We're going to create this one here. And you can just uh, share with anyone with the link. You can share that with your team or anyone you want to give access to. I probably wouldn't publish this to the GPT store because remember, you are using your own credits that you just got from data for SEO. So with that one published, let's move on to our second custom GPT, which is the on-site SEO fixer GPT. I'm gonna go through the exact same method. I'm going to create the GPT. I'm going to name it. And again, we're going to go to the bottom here and create a new action. Now, back in the GitHub repository, we need to understand which one we can use to do the on-site SEO. And I know that there's one here, this is the backlinks, this is the business data, content analyzer. In this one, from the on-page API, you can have a read at what you have access to here. But for example, each one of these calls will tell you the description. So this endpoint allows you to pass the content on the page and will return structured data and all these other things. These are all the tools that are really, really good to inspect your on-site SEO. So I'm going to copy this one here, copy the raw file of this call for data for SEO, which will be given to a custom GPT. Before I move any further, by the way, we can't get all of these calls to one custom GPT. It kind of overloads it. But at the end of this video, I'm going to give you an extra GPT. So let's make it full uh, to give you one of the calls that are really, really useful that has the majority of the functionality in there. But anyway, the on-site, on-page calls, I'm going to copy here. I'm going to go back to the GPT that I'm building and I'm going to paste the schema there. I wanna make sure that that's working by having these calls there, fantastic. So I know that it's got access to call of these and the GPT is gonna know that it has access to these. The authentication, again, I'm gonna to go to API key and I'm gonna paste my API key that I encrypted and I showed you how to encrypt before. I've just got mine saved here. I'm gonna paste that in there. So now I need to give it a website that it's going to test this out with and it's gonna give me some recommendations. So. Let's just get this one here. I'm going to go back to the GPT and paste the URL in there and 
give it a simple prompt like, can you analyze this website and tell me from an on-site SEO perspective what I need to fix? You can really enhance these GPTs by playing around with the prompt that you provided, but I just want to make sure that it's testing this correctly and it's kind of utilizing all the connectors. Perfect. So I'm going to make sure that I can confirm there. So now I can confirm that the GPT knows to call that API that's going to give me all that rich data to give me a better understanding of how I can improve the on-site SEO of that website. Perfect. So it's telling me that it's got a, it's blocked access, probably from a Cloudflare SEO crawler, irrelevant tags. Perfect. So it's already given me a couple of examples there. Let's try with one more website just to see. Uh, let me grab a random one here, just to make sure that I'm going to start a new chat here so I can get that one to refresh the conversation. And I'm going to say the same to that one. So have a look at this website and provide me an on-site SEO analysis in terms of what I need to fix to this website so it ranks higher. And with that done, I'm going to hit enter. I know people are going to be probably be asking, but this little thing is called Super Whisper. That just allows you to talk to ChatGPT or to anything on your computer, by the way. So I'm going to confirm the call and let's see what comes up. Perfect. So now this is getting a pretty good on-site SEO analysis. There are some technical issues. There are multiple missed match closing tags, render blocking. It could be loading a little bit quicker. So it's taking about 3.3 seconds to load. It really should be under 2.5 seconds. Canonical tags, the, it's given me even suggestions on the current title tag, in the recommendations, uh, in the meta description, the content depth, the missing keywords, which is really good because this isn't now a normal SEO tool where it doesn't really understand the, well, normal SEO tools don't really understand the context of the website. Whereas this does because it's ChatGPT. So you can read that, hey, this is a design agency that has UX design services and it's providing these things. Hey, hey, Trefs in SEMrush won't do that at the moment. It's given me an internal linking opportunities, how I need to optimize the images, the schema, a bunch of other really useful things. And it's even given me quick wins here. And that is with a very simple prompt, by the way. So you can already see the power of that. I'm going to create this guy and anyone with the link. So now I've got my two really powerful custom TPTs with access to real-time SEO data. Let's build the last one here, my favorite, the GPT that allows me to see what are the keywords that I'm ranking for or my competitors are ranking for. I'm going to go back here and let's create one more, create my GPT. Let's name it competitor keyword spy GPT. And then again, at the bottom, I'm going to allow code interpreter and data analysis. I'm going to create a new action. And now I need to go and find the right one. So in this one, I'm going to use the researcher toolkit. And this is really the toolkit that's got probably the most functionalities in there, but we're just going to use it for the purpose of finding the keywords that a website is ranking for. I want to copy this whole thing to make sure you get this copied message because it's a big file. Sometimes it won't copy the whole thing, but anyway, I want to go back here and paste the schema in there. And you can see here that there is a lot of calls now that we can see here. Okay. So now with that done, again, I'm going to add the random privacy policy. I'm going to go to authentication and the API key. Again, you've done this enough times that you should understand the sequence here. I'm going to grab the encrypted API key and go into there. And now let's see for this website, what keywords they're ranking for. So what keywords is that website ranking for? That easy. And I think I like this way of doing SEO, particularly for a small business, because you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars a month. You That call is going to take me fractions of a cent. And for the majority of the SEO work that I need to do, this is more than enough. I'm going to confirm here and hopefully comes back with some really useful data. So I just made a mistake. I gave you the wrong connection here. So that's fine. That GPT is working still, but let me show you how quickly it is to fix it. So the actual API call that we wanted was this one, the data for SEO lab. So I'm going to copy this one here and you see how we got an error before on that GPT. It says, hey, sorry, I can't pull the detailed keywords that, that website's ranking for. That's because that call wasn't within the functions that we gave it before. Now we're going to give it the right one. And perfect, this should still have the authentication done. So let's ask that same question again. 
understanding that all we did was just change the schema, the script and say, uh, tell me the keywords that this site is ranking for and put in here. Perfect. Now let's see if that change of schema, meaning the change of API calls is going to give me the right information. Perfect. So now it's telling me the keywords that website is ranking for web design, Melbourne agency, digital Melbourne agency, and a bunch of these things. So now I can start seeing, for example, okay, so they're ranking for UI design company in Melbourne, UI user experience. I could probably start also ranking for those keywords as well. And again, if I wanted to create this, if I'm happy with this GPT, which I am after fixing it, I'm going to create, uh, and I got to make sure I have a privacy policy here. I'm going to be cheeky and Just steal theirs, technically their call. I don't know if I should be doing that, but that's okay. You can do that for now. I'm going to create it. That allows you to actually share it with other people. So I'm going to create this and it allows you to share the link with anyone. I'm going to save that. So now you've got three really powerful custom GPTs. One that'll give you an overall keyword research understanding and onsite SEO analysis and tell you the keywords that your competitor is ranking for. And all those calls cost me fractions of a cent. Let's have a look here how much they actually cost me. I think I can go to data for SEO and I can tell you exactly what the usage was for all of those. So the on-page analysis, for example, that I just did today cost me $0.17. And that was today. No, actually, it cost me less than that. It cost me the one that I just did before, 0.0. .0 zero one two five to make that one call so you can see how cost effective this really is i hope you enjoyed that video now you have these incredible seo tools now what's next because seo is more than just understanding the keywords and understanding what your competitor is ranking for you actually need to put all these things into action and that can be a little bit overwhelming thankfully a very three hour long free SEO tutorial that you can go watch here and it'll tell you everything you need to know on how to do SEO in 2025 to rank in the AI search engine. I recommend you go watch that now. Cheers. Thanks for watching.